<laughs> Poor girl. Well, I guess maybe it would be a better situation for her. Depends from your uh, dignity. I suppose that's that's um, uh, that's all about uh, character and dignity. I think. And morals as well, but really, if you want to be a prostitute, nobody should stop you, really. It's your business. <laughs> it literally, it's your business. There we go. Why, well, hello there. I have Cassie's necklace. Yes. Oh, very good. She takes the necklace from you. Then, as I promised, you may now take a girl of your choice for a little entertainment. Uh, can, can I have the money? I don't really want any girl um okay C can you give me the money uh no nah. but uh, is the i remember you could choose or maybe you can only if you're a woman because as you see if you play uh by the way i think uh, laura is uh, here already I think I think that's her. Uh, if you're a woman, unfortunately, there are no men <laughs> in this brother brother. So <laughs> you get money, and I really needed the money because I don't really wanna. I don't care about going with a girl. I don't. Uh, and yeah, this is a uh, shit. I will not comment on that. Do you have to, s to say something to me, bartender? Give me a drink, mongrel. Oh my god. How about the drink, my good fellow? Me, Nicholas. Me give you a drink now. Here. <laughs> Thank. Thank you. Let's hit the spot. You wish to speak with me? No. Done. I'll take a drink for free. I suppose I, I gave him money anyway, but... Maybe I'll keep the girl for later. I'm more interested in this. What has happened to my stats? This is why nothing is working. <laughs> this is why my persuasion is not more working with Magnus. Magnus. <laughs> what has happened? I need to fix this. How do I fix it? I'm a hero of Shrouded Hills because of your heroic efforts in helping Doc Roberts stop the bandits. It might be something I'm wearing. Let's see. No, I'm really in a bad, bad situation. Whatever happened? I'm gonna save that point. Let's go quickly to Vermilion Station. Complete the other quest and then maybe we should rest. Are you the guy I want? Let me ask you a question, sir. Pishalier. No, you're not it. You're it, then. Come on. Pray tell, who are you? I go by the name of Jared, captain of the Vermilion Station Guard. You'll have to excuse my somber mood. I'm a bit on the distracted side lately. 
What is troubling you, sir? My girl, Wilhelmina, was on the Zephyr, you know, the blimp that crashed in the shrouded hills. With no word of survivors yet. Well, uh, I was part of the rescue team. I have a note for you. He reads the note. Wilhelmina, where is she? I'm sorry, but she's dead. Oh no. My condolences, sir. He continues to sob for a few moments before composing himself. I know I've no right to ask this of you, but could you do me a favor? Uh, well, depends what is it that you're asking. Could you stop by the stone cutters for me? I need a tombstone made for my Wilhelmina. It is very important to me. His shop is on the corner of Mulligan Bone Alley and East End Avenue. Tell him to come around to visit me. I can't leave my post. Of course. Thank you. Mm, uh, yeah, I remember where the stone mason is. Tarantula Editorial Office. Dolores Beston, seer of the unnatural. Oh, wow. Nice house, girl. What is it? Hello, madam. Might I ask you who you are? This woman looks at you wide-eyed, then seems to regain her composure. composure. Yes, of course, I am Dolores Beston, spirit medium and tiller, teller, of tiller, teller of future things. I live here to serve the good and noble citizens of Tarant, to make things clearer when they are dark, to call for help when it is needed. How may I help you? Could I ask you a few questions? Of course. What is it you do here again? I talk with spirits, looking to the far flung future to see what it holds for those who dare to look. I am a guide in the nether realms, a mistress in the medium of the mysterious. Who are some of your clients? Oh, I serve most of the affluent families here in Tarant, the Willowsbys, the Gerinsbergs. The ladies all trust me, and I do what I can to lead them away from troublesome waters. Well, can you read my future? I'm very sorry, but currently I'm having a problem with my crystal ball. I dropped it the other day, and my visions have been foggy and unclear ever since. I've, I've looked into finding another one, but as you might guess, a crystal ball is a rare commodity. Well, I'd assume so. Perhaps I could assist you in finding another. She smiles mysteriously, yes, I thought you might say that. I have a feeling for such things, you know. From the moment you walked in here, I knew you were something special. Well, let's not get carried away, madam. I understand, not everyone is a believer. In any case, I would very much appreciate your help. If you were to find me a new crystal ball, I'll pay you 200 gold pieces. What do you say? <laughs> Finally some money. Of course, I'd be glad to assist you. Splendid, and now I may be able to assist you in finding one. As I told you, my crystal ball is not working correctly, but sometimes a physical piece of the person I am viewing helps to clear the vision. Might I have a lock of your hair? Okay. I'm intrigued. Wonderful. She takes out a scissors and cuts a small lock of your hair. Now, we look into the ball, see what is to be seen. She stares intently, waving the lock in front of her face. Cloudy, but something is coming clear. Yes, I see where you might be able to procure a ball. Where? In the warehouse district, I see the bordello there, a small shop just beside it. I see a sign, Madame Tussaud. Within that shop is a crystal ball. Find Madame Tussaud and you'll find a crystal ball. Yeah, I, uh, I went there. Madame Tussaud, do you know anything of her? I can't say I've ever heard of her myself. There are so many self-proclaimed soothsayers in Tarant. More than likely she's some fly-by night gypsy. Out to make a quick buck, but be careful, you never know what to expect from these nomads. Mm, well, thank you for the advice, I'll return later. Oh, 
some easy quest. Polton Cross. What what's in here? It's locked because it's still very late. These are shops that we cannot get in because uh, it, they will be probably closed. Hmm. Where can we go? First. We go to Madame Tussaud. <laughs> We need armors, we need the, um, we need stuff, we need money, we need everything. What an unfortunate situation. <laughs> we could go for that ring, maybe. Um, there are two sections in the sewers, one that is um, easy and one that is uh, a bit more difficult, but... Hey, madam. Hello, I've been expecting you, traveler. Yes, uh, I've been here already as well. Then you know I'm here for the crystal ball, madam. She smiled starkly. Listen to me. Dolores Beston came to my shop not three days ago asking for her fortune. I told her, traveler, and here we are. We are all a part of what is to come, and it is you that must choose. What? Tell me what's going on. Choose, coward, or I will choose for you. On which side will you fall, mine or the Loris Bestons? Okay, sorry, I had to stop one for, for one second. Um, uh, anyway, this, this quest is um, not the very best quest in the game. Um, Lucky for us, Mr. Dixon is very superstitious and he's now afraid and uh, frightened by the witch here. Um, so he will um, yield to her, but uh, the thing is that if you want to play a, a character that is uh, more diplomatic or skeptic, um, if you don't side with her, she will try to kill uh, you she will try to kill you she will attack you and then you will end up killing her and then she will curse you and this curse i think is minus two point of charisma which is <laughs> a lot and um luckily for us mr dixon doesn't he he's not as uh, uh, he's a skeptical person but he does believe in various superstitions uh, he has grown in uh, a particular uh, environment uh, that uh, has some uh, uh, superstitions and little rituals uh, to do for this and that for luck and uh, he, he's, he's sensible to these things sensitive I guess well of course I side with you you're scaring me I would say anything right now the fire in her in her eyes subsides. She whispers, very good. I believe you have chosen wisely, Traveler. You may have the crystal ball. I only ask you that you take it to Dolores and give it to her. What? But I thought... Things aren't always as they seem, Traveler. I ask you to do this for me. Will you? Well, what about what I get in return? If you do this small thing, I will give you some information concerning the Garingsboro robbery. The Garingsboro robbery? Well, I haven't heard of any robbery. You will, Traveler, you will. What say you? Will you do this for me? Fine. Very well. She hands you the ball. I shall await your return. Oh, this is get stranger and stranger. Yeah, that, that quest uh, is very badly implemented because they could have done something like three different paths. Um... Uh, the parts of, I don't know, the skeptical, touchy um, kind of character that, uh, well, I guess the, the 
it would be really difficult because the quest has a point. So she's really magical and she's a real seer. Um, so uh, she basically hexes you and uh, that cannot be avoided. If you are uh, a skeptical person or a neutral person, you antagonize her. Um, as we will see now, you are helping her doing something that is... Uh, Maybe it's all right, but uh, I still don't see why there are no other choices for the character. For example, getting out of there and that's about it. If you don't want anything to do anymore with the quest. Basically, if you comply with the quest, everything turns out all right, but it might not suit your character. But that's it. Many quests in many games have this problem, but you can just uh, avoid the quest when you know where to go in the game. Uh, you can you can skip this quest altogether. All right, here we go. How do you do? Greetings, Mrs. Pastor. Ma might I speak with you for a moment? Of course. I've returned with the crystal ball. She looks surprised. That's... well, that's just grand. Where did you get it? Madame Tussaud, a medium in the warehouse district. <laughs> the old crone. She knew absolutely nothing at all. I knew she was a fake from the very beginning. <laughs> I'm sorry, what do you mean? Oh, if you must know, I'd heard rumors about her around town, people saying she could actually see the future. Rubbish, no one can really see anything. It's all an act. I lie to those old ladies all day long, tell them exactly what they want to hear. So I went to this Madame Tussaud and I told her I wanted her to see my future. And what did she say? She told me that a stranger would walk into my store one day and that he would be my death. Can you believe it? My death, so when I saw you come in here, you can imagine my surprise and my fears. Of course. But don't you see the irony? You've gone and killed her. She was the one who needed to fear you, not me. I broke my own crystal ball just in case someone did show up. And in the end, you killed her. And I get her crystal ball thrown in just for, for good measure. Ha! <laughs> so much for old Madame Tussaud. I never said she was dead, Dolores. What? How did you get the ball? She gave it to me, to give to you. I don't know, please. Get it away from me. It's a gift, Dolores. Just for you. You hand it to her. Oh god, no! <laughs> oh, there. So basically she was the fraud, but there is no way for you to know about this and to take sides. Because nobody really talk about this quest. Um, sometime you heard a rumor about Madame Tussaud being considered the... Um, there is somebody sleeping here? A gnome noble? Oh yeah, because this is not her house. This is another house. Yeah, this is uh, Polton Cross. Uh, yeah, the only thing you he hear about um, Madame Tussaud is that she's supposed to be the real deal. Uh, and you only oh, you only hear a rumor about that. That's of course locked. Hmm. Shall we rest for a while? Oh. There. <laughs> I put my point in persuasion. Okay. Um, then, what could we do now? We have that crystal ball. Um, but... Oh, you, you keep it for a while. You have this very good axe, don't you? Um, 
maybe sold, maybe I could sell this for you. You have the deed, oh, we should go. Maybe we should rest a couple of hours so that we... Yeah, now it's... Daylight. We have a smithy here. A gun shop. This is the station. This is the hotel. Hmm, I wonder. We need to go to that guy, don't we? This guy here. Hmm. And also possibly go to Madame Lille for another quest. Oh, come on, don't. Yeah, let's go. And by the way, uh, this is Laura. All right. Mr. Dixon, it's so good to see you. Laura, I see Madame Lille was impressed with you. See, I told you. Thank you so much. You've done so much for me. How about a free one? Just to say thank you. I'm not into that kinky stuff like some of the other girls here. I just like things the old-fashioned way, nice and simple. Being with a man like you is excitement enough for me. Do you want to give it a go? Uh, I think, Mister. D I think that because of YouTube, we will not, and probably also flag this video or something by myself. <laughs> but no, I think I think Mister. Dixon is not very comfortable for with anything that is not an another halfling. Uh, actually, a female halfling. I think he has a very um, precise idea. I don't think it's comfortable. But, well, thank you. I'm just glad you're happy. If you're happy, go, go for it. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Um, can you train me to be an expert in persuasion now? Yes, Mr. Dixon, I can train you as an expert. I charge a fee of 500 coin for my time. Is that acceptable to you? Oh, good God. I don't think I have them. Uh. No, I have them, but really I cannot spend them right now, can I? <sighs> can you give me your other quests? Oh no, she probably can't because I need to take my reward. Oh no, no. Do you, do you have anything else I could do for you? Hmm, let me think. Pauses for a moment. Ah yes, I know just the thing. We have a particular patron who's been quite negligent in his payments of late. If you could persuade him to pay his debt, I'll try. Where can I find him? His name is Mr. Langley. He's the doorman over at the Bridesdale Inn. He has run up a debt of 500 coin on his tab with us and made no attempt to pay it. Please see that he does, but mind you, don't hurt him. We don't want to damage the patrons. Very well. So now it is daylight. And uh, there will be more people around and uh, other kinds of people around. Nothing. Oh yes, there's also this. Dock workers. Let me talk to them. Ah yeah, you can travel through ship. Yeah. Or, or play some dice. If you're a good gambler. 
you can win some uh, have some profit what kind of passages do you offer oh you're talking to the wrong guy mister climb aboard and speak to the captain he's the one you're looking for okay i'll do that yeah we have to go to the sh in, in the ship then. guys where is everybody gone why are you behind that? yeah we need to go aboard the ship and ask for passages but I think you can go to every town that has a port, docks, uh, so we could go back to Darnold right now or to other location that we haven't discovered yet. Um, let's see. First, let's talk with this gnome. Yes, what it is. Who are you? Oh, excuse my rudeness, sir. My name is Simon Pla. Plo. I'm a bit distracted, as I'm in a bit of a fix. What is your problem, sir? I've recently inherited these warehouses here, and I need to sell them to pay off my debts. But I have a rat problem, a big rat problem, and no one will purchase them from me until the rats are, eradicate are eradicated. Well, how much would you pay me f to do away with these rats? That is the problem, sir. I have no money and I need the money. The sale of the properties would give me. Desperately. You can take whatever you find as you're cleaning them out as your payment, if you like. There should be at least a few valuable odds and ends of a technological nature. Uh, I see what I can do. Thank you. Please inform me when the rats are all dead. Alright, this is your average starter quest. Metal casing for batteries. Maybe, yeah, I think... I think it is for batteries. Oh, hello. Sog, hit them. There we go, another level. Thank God we are leveling up. I can't see nothing anymore. I'm gonna skip. It's better if they come out. Come on, Soggy. Oh, he's fleeing. Oh dear. Why are you not attacking you guys? Oh, there you go, Sog. See? Much better. there we needed to get in there you go sog oh come on mr dixon you need a pair of glasses don't you there that's locked come on mm. Not very much. But we leveled up. We just need to do these little easy quests. Okay, so it goes to 14. Okay, I'm fine with this for the moment. It's time we start getting serious. With our million stuff. I'm, I definitely want to keep uh, the throwing skill uh, that I got. The, because I... Come on, don't fail. You jammed it again? I can't believe it. Sog. Mm. I can't tell him to attack the barrel, but I wish I could. Wow, we are really bad at this. 
We need the blocks if we... Oh, no. I misclicked on you. There you go in. There. Oh. Do not flee from here. There. Oh God, look at those giant ones. Wow, that was one hit, Mr. Dixon. That's the way to show those bastards, I mean, good hit, sir. This is Please watch just... yourself, sir. Being hit inadvertently hurts as much as being struck purposely. This is prodigious vermin. You go ahead, guys. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Dixon. There you go, Sog. Doing good. <laughs> Not even one hit, Mr. Dixon. Oh, God. <laughs> You're bad. We need to get Magnus to um, build us a pair of glasses, if we can. There. Come on, Soggy. 